Constantinople, 1915. World War One has still not started. What the? F oh, we can start justifying against people. Uh, well, they could join the. I think they could still join Frank. No, they're democratic. Oh no, if they're authoritarian, they could have a chance. Oh yes, encircle, encircle them all. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, do it. Do it now. Circle. Yes. Do it a little more. All right. Let's take this baby out for a, a spin. All right. We'll hit the Red Sea again. Usually there's not that many Italian uh, units over there. Hopefully we can just wreck them. They are slowly gaining up a navy. So if I can do small strikes against their over a larger navy, that would probably be very effective. Uh, Germany is holding. They managed to take out Luxembourg and push in. And now they're pushing into Russia. So I may, if they, if they do that, I can move these troops out and kind of fill in the gaps. Oh, yes. Oh, you brought in a new battleship. They are, oh, oh, shoot, they're tech two. No, oh, you have three of them. Okay. All we need to do is destroy all these and we'll be doing well. All right. Come on. Damn it. They escaped. Okay. I just want to take note for what it looks like. It looks like the Germans are having a hard time pushing into Russia, but they're having a great time down here. And yes, I'm going to try to get into the war. It's just unfortunately taking a little bit longer. I forgot I had to go down a certain tree. So, yeah. My bad. Screw that. The Austrians are like, yeah, we can do better. And they're encircling so many divisions. It's insane. I w uh, let's double check the casualty report. Wait. Guaranteeing the Empire of Japan. Why are you guaranteeing the Empire of Japan? I don't know. 1.8 million men have died on their side. I'm guessing most of that's Russian. I'm, ju I'm just going on a limb and saying most of it's right. Yeah, it's Russian. Oh, Russia, living up to expectations. Your stability's probably crashing, I would assume. 31%. Here we go. Yes. Does that mean you guys are going to join my war against Italy? If so, that would be amazing. If not, that's totally fine. Call to arms. Are we ready for this? No? But I at least help out. All right, let's launch those assaults. So first off, these guys. Hold on. You are to push up as fast as freaking possible up there and just try to capitulate the Caucasians. We can take the oil. And again, that would be incredibly helpful for us. Ottomans have joined the Central Powers. You're welcome. Uh, secondly, we need to deal with this. But look like the Hungarians are pretty much dealing with that threat. The They're, they're ramming themselves into here. But they are leaving themselves wide open. So we are going to push and try to encircle those British divisions. I don't know why they're pushing down here when we can go around, but whatever. Oh, this game is getting very slow. Hey, Russia, can you just uh, capitulate? That would be amazing. Oh, my God. Are we? No, they're no, no, they're still pushing up. Okay. They're still pushing up. I'm still worried about Romania. Romania has a lot of men along their border. So we'll, we'll watch them like a hawk. When you can literally encircle the entire enemy army. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. This is going to be a beautiful encirclement if I can get this done. And yes, I'm being, I'm saying that sarcastically. Oh, can we get around? Oh my God. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey guys, hey guys, maybe go around this army, hypothetically speaking. All right, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. They're going to be encircled. They'll start attritioning. They'll die. We'll, then we can push to Egypt. Resource-wise, a lot of oil. We can no longer get oil because it's just being cut off. So, we'll just go for Romania. Romania, how are you doing today? We'd like to buy some of your oil. You, you, you're such a nice country, Romania. We're not... I swear to God, all these troops here are not just in case you try to murder us or anything. But, you know, how are we doing? Oh, Germany's advancing in the fronts. Oh, good. You know, instead of doing the strategy of pushing through Belgium, they're like, yeah, we're just going to push straight it through the gut. Like they did during uh, the Prussian War. Very nice. Austrians are... Oh, we're meeting the Austrians. Awesome. Cool, we can just keep advancing. Hopefully, we can grab some oil from the, the Baku oil fields. For those who don't know, right here. And look at those glorious oil fields. Oh, no wonder the Germans wanted them in 1918. Let me have them. I'll take all of it. Force attack. We shall sacrifice all of you for the glory of the Ottoman Empire. To be fair, we have 1.7 million men. So, it's really not that big of a deal if you guys can all die. Thank you. Bye. Uh, Wait, I take that back. I think the Germans are being pushed back. Come on, men. Guard the area. And if you could be so t kind, take away. <laughs> yes, encircle them, my pretties. Oh, maybe not that much. Too much for encirclement. Too much for encirclement. Aw, oh, damn it. They've encircled us. Those bastards. Cool. I like how they just moved the unit over. It's like, cool, we'll take Kuwait. 
We have the Baku oil fields. Oh, okay. We can. I feel like we can close this area up, and then we can kind of focus elsewhere. Yes, join the Central Powers. I'm already part of the Central Powers. So, kind of late on that one, game, but thank you. I feel like these men are probably going to die, but they're going to die knowing that they tried to escape. All right, we are going to... All right, now I realize that they're coming back. We're going to fall back to this line because we don't have enough men to advance. Speaking of men to advance, I forgot about this area. Yeah, just uh, murder all these poor British bastards, and let's try to cross the Sinai. When Austrian forces battled for the city of Zarids, a.k.a. what was known as Stalingrad... Oh my god. I just want to note, uh, UK lost some men. <laughs> and I've killed more, uh, UK than, uh, sorry, British than the Germans. So, wanted to point that out. That they're not, uh, up to par. Though the Germans have been massacring the French. So, I mean, I guess it's even on that front. Come on. Put your backs into it. I like how the Austrians and Germans are helping me try to hold th this portion of Libya. It's not going well, but hell, I'll give them credit. Well, guys, it's, uh, you know, 1915, and the Germans have started their Zeppelin campaign in the United Kingdom to try to make up for the fact that, well, they are currently sucking in France. Germany, I know, you're terrible. I get it. You're bad at this game, but my god, don't be this bad. Like, seriously, step it up. The Austrians are just kicking ass all the way through. They've encircled dozens of Russian divisions. I s shouldn't the Soviets be popping up now? I mean, literally, they've lost half their divisions. It, their stability's at 23%. It, it's not looking all that great for them. I'm just I'm just pointing that out. It's it's really not. All right, just help the Germans out. Did we take Moscow? We took Rochev. Moscow is literally being attacked. A handful of Russian forces are trying to protect it, but it, it's not going to work. This is 1915, and the German... The Austrians are already in Moscow. They've encircled Moscow. I mean, Stal look, Zaritz has already been, like, long forgotten. Romania has yet to choose the side. They're instead, they're going neutrality focus, which, by God, thank you, Romania. Um, I mean, I guess... All right, if they're going that, then, well, let's, let's wait for the Russians to die before I do anything. Uh, what is that? Oh, there's Minsk. Hello, Minsk. The Ottomans are here to liberate you. What? You don't want to be liberated? Well, too bad. I swear to God, I just took Minsk and this happened. The Austrians are now... Oh, my God. The Austrians now have all these men. All these men that are now going to pour in here. Also, shouldn't we get some territory? Shouldn't the Treaty of Brezlovsk, which, by the way, 1915. Awesome. We got that done. No, okay. There's United Baltic, which now is on our side. But what about everyone else? Oh, there's Ukraine. There's our ally, or I guess not really ally. Oh, look, Germany got thicker. Austria got a little thicker, too. We got Lithuania. There. Awesome. So we got some territory. I'm waiting. I, isn't there supposed to be Belarus over there, or am I just... Am I crazy? Also, isn't Armenia supposed to pop up over here? Or am I also crazy? Also, go German South Africa. Just keep rolling on up, please. Oh, holy shit. All right, there goes a huge portion of their navy. Hold on. Let's go help them out. The Ottomans are here to assist with the Austrian navy to bring them in. Come on, Austria. Wow, this is truly about for the Argeotic. God damn, this is the time we're waiting for. Come on, move on in. Yes, Germany. Yes, just push them back. Use all that manpower to push France back. Oh, with all, all right, so with all these new divisions being said here, it is time for the ultimate breakthrough attempt. We are literally going to smash ourselves across the Suez. We, we must, we must break the Suez at all costs. Oh, look at all that. Look at all these dead Italians. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Italy. Oh, the other, oh, they're coming in for a second bow. Fine. Oh, bring it on, Italy. Bring it on. Gonna focus on infrastructure because I just realized the amount of infrastructure we have in these regions is so bare that I'm literally just killing my own men. Which is fine, but I need to make sure that the enemy dies first. Looks like South Africa has returned. Unfortunately, the Germans were just unable to hold it. Though, by God, the German general that did this down here. Fantastic work. That really screwed them up. 1916, and America's still over there. Okay, Germany, this is what I need you to do. Do not, under any circumstances, start any undersea campaign with submarines against all naval vessels 
that, I don't know, brings in the allies. We are fucked, so don't do that, please. Thank you. Oh, look at all that death and destruction. The Ottomans, the best naval power, apparently, in this game. I have no idea how these guys are surviving, but, you know, keep it up. You're doing great. Oh, wow, they really reinforced here. Luckily, we have more, uh, industry, uh, not industry, infrastructure over here, so that's helping us out. Oh, beautiful. I love it. When the Soviet Union sends men to help Ottoman Empire, you know you're doing the right thing. How many kills do we have with these guys? Alright, so four. We, wow, my... Oh, my... Look at all these. We've... Wow, assisted in sinking. We've taken out four battleships. Alright, I... Maybe it's just me, but I don't think we're gaining much ground. Alright, now comes for the inevitable trench warfare to start, ladies and gentlemen, where we just literally bash our heads against the ground for... God knows how long, so we can try to gain an upper hand. Now, some would call this a glitch. Others would say this is high ger this is high level German tactics. You see, what they're doing is they're teleporting back and forth, so that way they can catch the enemy off guard and get around them. It's a high level German move. You get to oh my god, he's going into the next dimension. I can't believe we made it. We made it across, ladies and gentlemen. The Japanese have reinforced. Oh, come on. Uh, the United... Italy, 300... Yeah, it's definitely... They're absolutely just sacrificing themselves to U-boats. When the enemy U-boats are causing more destruction to your army... To the Central Powers army than you are. What is happening? They realize we're across the Suez, so they're like, oh, freak. Um, do not let them cross any further. It's like, okay, but we're not gonna let you cross either. You know, this would probably have gone a lot easier if I didn't put on, you know, the balls of steel. But I just wanted to show that the Ottomans do have balls of steel for doing this at this level of difficulty. So hopefully, I can make it through. Repair the- Wait, they blew the Suez? The British blew up the Suez, those bastards. Are we at war with Russia? Okay, we are at, we are at war with neither party. Okay, Soviet Union, I love you. I feel like you can, okay. Oh, it's the white movement. Okay, so that's what's going on. We we can, we made the Soviets gain power. It's just now they're in the civil war. Wait, what? Mexico did what? Mexico's in the central powers. Oh, but this isn't a weak. This America has seven. Oh my God. Okay, I call bullshit. I call bullshit on this. No way, Mexico. No way. The Russian Empire has capitulated. Well, we kind of knew that was going to happen. I mean, to be fair, it's at least five, year er five years earlier. And my men are still holding the, the ports in Tripoli. Good job, men. Good job. Reaxis Zimmerman telegram. Oh, no, 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 that it's just like, ugh. That's why I'm trying to pump up more men. Alright, Persia, I do want to do this, but I'm going to have to be your friend. We're going to need any ally we can get. Um, hey Persia, listen. Buddy, pal, friend, let's improve relations with you. Damn it, they're neutrality focus. Come on, scout planes. France has called the United States. Oh my god. Okay, you guys are just going to stay up there. If there's a hole, you're going to plug it. That, that, that's essentially what I'm going to have you guys do. You're just going to plug any holes up here that happens. We've slowly whittled them down. Of all the of all fronts to actually be winning, I'm actually very happy that we're slowly winning on this front. But that being said, now the Americans will start pouring over all their divisions, and they have hundreds upon hundreds of divisions that will be coming over. While Germany is like, yeah, we have some, we have some more. The United States just naval invaded through force. The the Mexicans were like, yeah, we can hold. They're actually possibly going to try to advance into southern Texas. God, I've been recording this for hours, by the way, and I'm not even at 1918 yet. I'm close, but oh boy, it's taking forever. So in this turn of events, a French ambassador shot, and Mexico joins the war, along with China, Romania, Persia, and Afghanistan, all remaining neutral in the war. Okay, this is how we're going to kill the entire Entente army. We're just going to lure them into that port, and I'm just going to keep shooting them in the goddamn face. Seems like a solid plan. I like it. Oh, I made it. Cyphers is now mine. Ha ha. There we go. We got Cyphers, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, god damn it. American forces have landed here. Why would Americans land here of all places? Seriously. I guess they really do like the Middle East. 
America, it's 1918. This isn't 2018. Relax. Yes, I'll take nine divisions, Soviet Union. Thank you. I knew you were my bestest friend. How am I winning four divisions against 25? I don't understand, but all right. Wow, I'd even research mustard gas. We are just like the most uh, non-toxic group. Thank you. We're GMO free. Thank you. Uh, or is that is that right? I don't even know if that's right, but we're 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 not using gas. There we go. Oh my god. Oh yes. Oh, I see good thing. No, don't you fucking retreat into it. Don't you retreat into it. You take that point and you let them die. That's what I need you to do. You, you, you kill all of them. I don't understand. The Soviet Union is being so helpful with the resources. Germany, in the real war, you should have gotten the resources, all your food and stuff from the Soviets. They would have been so nice to help you out. I'm just saying. If you want better terms with them, that would have really helped you out in the long term. I want all of those Raj divisions on my... Oh, Egyptian too. I want all those divisions on my dinner plate stat. Come on. Come on, do it for me. Just kill them all. And look, we're helping to hold up here against the Americans. Actually, speaking of which. Uh, Mexico, I know that they are advancing toward Mexico City, but you're going to need... Oh, my God. Mexico, if you are smart, send a division and circle the five divisions. You can hold out a little longer that way. That's your only and best option. 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Uh, there are 12 million. Let's see with all that. Oh, Oh, wait, really? That's it? They only went up, like... They didn't go up that much. Oh, dang it. I really expected them to go up more. All right, let's continue to push into Egypt. Maybe Egypt capitulates. That would be wonderful. How close is Egypt? Not even close. Damn it. Well, actually, we need to take Alexander. Well, I wonder how powerful a potential naval invasion of the sector would be. So guys, uh, the ultimate strategy, let them take a port, surround them with submarines, and just keep murdering them over and over and over again. Look at all these sweet convoys being sunk. Oh. The Japanese fleet, by the way, I think is trapped in here now because we own the Suez. All right, it's 1918 and so far no one has gained advantage over the other, which is good uh, for us, I guess. Well, maybe not great for us, but it's getting better. Oh my god. We lost four heavy ships in that, but we've annihilated the entire Japanese Navy. Plus some sunks, but... Well, I... I, I, I hold on. Battle of Herculean. Oh, Jesus. Uh... Wow, okay, never mind. They're still a naval power, but I'm pretty sure they're not the naval power anymore. And now the Battle of Amman is complete. All those divisions will go and move to a different sector. Oh, Armenia's alive? Why is there a giant question mark? Do you not know who the leader of Armenia was? You just got a random guy with a beard and said, yes, this is the leader of Armenia. This will work. If I put a picture of a guy with a beard and said, yes, this was the leader of Armenia, this would work. People would probably be like, well, I don't think so. But I put a question mark over his head and everyone's like, yep, that's fine. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I gotta hand it to the Mexicans. They are doing extremely well holding off the Americans. So much so that the Americans are literally running out of guns. I'm not even joking. The Americans are turning into the Soviets versus the Germans. Except the Germans are Mexicans. And somehow holding the line. Don't believe me? Alright, let's pull up the United States. They've suffered 4.7 million casualties to the Mexicans. Well, looky there. <laughs> Oh, dear God. So, Austria, I feel like with all these guys dead, your water should be secure for the now on. And there goes more divisions. I feel really good about myself right now. Yes, our Marines are finally landing. They could take Alexandria. They could compete. Oh, my God. If they capitulate and we surround all those men, it's game over. Like, it would be game over. Oh, please. I need to do that. I need to do that to win this game. Just just all those men dead. Even the all, all the arms the Egyptians could give me. Oh my god, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, there's like 50 divisions right here. If they were just suddenly to, I don't know, disappear. I feel like... By the way, it's the end of 1919. So... And this is probably the last place the, the Entente were like, Yeah, no, no. They, uh, we don't have to worry about this sector. We're fine in this sector. 
I just realized after all the ca after 10 million casualties, whatever the, the United States has taken, Mexico's only taken a million. Just think about that. 10 to 1. The French have reinforced the Americans. Oh, wow. You know what? Screw I should probably send troops over to Mexico to help them out. Because it seems like Mexico's Mexico knows what to do against America. So I was going around and I was looking at chips. This sucker right here, the Kilikas Alice Reyes, has killed 51 ships. That's right, 51 enemy ships have been destroyed from this thing. From all nations, Japan, Italy, Britain, and France. All of them blown to kingdom come, and it is fantastic. The problem is, I wish my army was doing better. Unfortunately, we're barely holding on all fronts. The bet, the, probably the only person is still like trying to push is Mexico, and right now they're being pushed back. Unfortunately, America kind of got their shit together. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna call it here. Unfortunately, it's November 6, 1922, and the Austrians decided to send all their units down to Africa. The problem is with this Africa is, unfortunately, I wish they would kind of set up to where how it is in the base game, where you you don't go in areas that have low attrition. Because right now, no, I mean, the AI is attritioning a ton of their men out there, which is, I mean, fantastic for the kill count, which is now uh, close to 36 million. Uh, MVP, though, is Mexico with 11 million enemy casualties, so f fantastic on that part. German has, eight, has killed 8.3 million French. I mean, that's pretty fantastic. And, I mean, like, I'm doing pretty well. I've killed the most, like, people from the UK. I've absolutely killed the most Italians. And the most J Japanese, and probably the most, yeah, most Portuguese. So you got that, all that. The problem is we're just not going anywhere. And unfortunately, it's going to take so goddamn long for me to build up for tanks and kind of bust through there. I'm holding, but like I said, it's just taking forever. And while I do have naval supremacy in the Mediterranean, pretty much, uh, as we can see through here. And yes, it does pop up occasionally, but then I click on it and it shows, oh, look at everything dead. Dead, 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 dead. Everything's dead. Like, the British keep losing everything. I, we, I mean, they just lost a ton of convoys, which is just, just going to shoot up the amount of casualties they're actually taking. But, yeah, it's just they keep dying over and over again. And as much as I could win this game, and I, I very well could. Right now, I want to stalemate, but as long as I get armor and stuff like that. They're so low on guns and munitions, I could easily push through eventually. It's just kind of waiting. It, they just have so many troops, it would just take forever. So at this point, I'm calling it. I feel, and it's also the game slowing down, so I feel it's reasonable for me to call it here. But in any case, I want to thanks for watching this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed my my playthrough as the Sultan. It. I, I feel like as the Sultan, we got all our shit done. We cut, we beat the Allies. Uh, I'm sorry, this, yeah, the Entente out of uh, pretty much the southern portion of the Middle East. We got Egypt. We got our Tunisian territory reconnected. They can, Sure, they can stay out in the desert region. I'll just take all the money in the coast. Uh, we got ourselves the Italian territory here. We weren't able to uh, invade Rome. That's probably the only thing I would... I, we really need to kill Italy. That was the one thing I will say. But you know what we did kill that I'm very happy of? We did kill their fleet. So I'm very happy about that. But yeah, it's just... Uh, we, we, we weren't able to... Well do as much as I hope for and yeah that's it it does suck about that it, it does honestly suck I wasn't able to get that but I digress thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed make sure you guys like subscribe to some great shot 17 and I'll see you all next time Hello everyone, and before I go, I want to give a special shout out to Patreon supporters Ollie, Joey, Ace, Danny, Aaron, Leo, and Tim. Thank you guys so much for your awesome support. Another shout out to the Patreon supporters you can see down below. But in any case, thank you everyone. This has been Great Shot 17, and I'll see you all next time.